and welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be a flat tour video. I'm super excited to film this. Me and my flatmate literally love this flat so much. It's going to be like a flat slash apartment tour, whichever you want to call it. We call it a flat. So I thought I would show you around my flat and kind of tell you where things are from, that kind of thing. I thought this would be a really fun video because I had a comment asking about whether I live in student accommodation or not. So just a little bit of a backstory. So this is actually student slash, grad slash graduate accommodation. So we do have people live in our block that are lecturers, um, that are just graduated, that kind of thing. But obviously me and my flatmate, we are in third year, so we're on placement year. Um, but yeah, just thought I would tell you that. So let's get in with the tour. Okay, so this is what it looks like when you first walk in through the door. So the front door is there. We've got the telecom, which lets people in and out. And then here is Ellie's room, but for privacy reasons, I'm not gonna show you that. So this also is our coat rack slash spare cupboard. It's just got all my filming lights and suitcases and that kind of thing in here. So then we move into my bedroom which if you have seen my evening routine you would have seen parts of my bedroom already so I'll put that in a little tab in the top right corner for you so this is my front door I've just got loads of like hoodies and things like that on there and then I have my pin board with like photos and stuff then my tv and then this side is kind of like where I get ready like every single day this is kind of my everyday desk the desk actually came with the flat and also the storage kind of situation down there that also came with the flat so here is kind of where i put all of my makeup that can be put and stored in that kind of drawer the rest of like all my palettes and whatnot are actually somewhere else and then i have my alexa with my candle no i'm not actually talking to you sorry i don't know that one you know what doesn't matter hun I do get quite a lot of questions on where my mirror is from. My mirror is from Hollywood Mirrors. Um, I think this is the only landscape one and I think it was like £350, I think. I'm not 100% sure. Now we go into the ensuite. Both bedrooms have got ensuites. And then we've got like a little mirrored thing with like more like beauty products and stuff in there. And then when we come out, I do just want to quickly talk about where I got my stuff on my bed from because i'm actually obsessed with it so the bedding is a jersey fabric and it's from primark so you get the duvet set and the duvet pillow cases in a set i can't remember how much it was i think it was 20 but honestly when i tell you this is the best bedding ever it literally is the best bedding it's so soft i've got a couple of other duvet sets in my drawer underneath my bed but I just cannot seem to change it it is just so so comfy and then also my pillows so the two big pillows were six pound each from B&M in the clearance section which was absolutely amazing and then I had two pillows the the two smaller ones I had on my bed beforehand um but the duvet well the pillowcases didn't match so these pillowcases you get them in a set and they're also from B&M and they were 4 99 and then behind here I've got my lamp which also was also was from B&M and I think that was like 7 99 it was so so cheap and then at the end of my bed I've got this lovely throw from Donal I've got, actually got two because as much as I love being on the middle floor and it being so cozy sometimes it does get really really cold so I do just have that spare one to throw over me in bed if I do get too cold and then my pajamas which I, I'm gonna get changed into after I've finished filming this video and then over here is kind of like where I work slash kind of like stuff that isn't every day so I have my laptop and I have my books and then I've got my ring light as well my ring light was from Amazon and it was oh god how much was it it was between 50 and 80 pounds I think it was 50 more towards 50 than it was 80 but it's literally amazing I do have some diffusers that go over the top. I have an orange and a white one. 
but the thing with diffusers it does it does soften the picture so I've taken the diffuser off for the time being and then I've just got my makeup brushes over here in my two mugs just because I feel like it looks more appealing over here so I've got a couple of books as well all the books were mainly from Amazon I can't imagine them being from anywhere else but they're all just like self-help books I've got in the throes new fashion rules book as well um, I've got the chimp pa paradox the chimp paradox which is also a really good book and then the Bobby Brown makeup manual as well which again is really good for beginners so if you want to get into reading I highly suggest you look at some of them and then I, over here is kind of like my laptop and this is a bunch of my stuff that I have to take to and from the office and I, it's just easier to just have it out but yeah and then I've also got my wardrobe I like to colour coordinate my wardrobe as much as I can just because I find it easier and it's a lot more appealing to look at even though it is only me that looks at it I like to be as visually pleasing as I can so that's kind of mainly everything in my bedroom so I'm going to take you through to the living room or the living room slash kitchen so that's the front door as well with the lovely broom that we use all the time so as you come in here this is kind of what you see like firsthand I mean I literally love this kitchen so so much it's all white all grey and it's I mean ignore the really ugly two cups that you know need washing up but I haven't done it because I've been out all day but yeah so kind of kitchen appliance wise these slabs they kept with I mean we only got two of the placemat slabs but then we got these cup like coasters they were both from B&M I think the slabs were like two pounds and then you got a pack of four for like two pounds as well um, but they're really really easy to clean as well unlike the cardboard place match you can get it can be a bit difficult to clean but yeah literally just wipe them and they're just so clean the breakfast stools actually came with the flat we do have one that pegs the door open just because we don't like to have the door shut which is a health and safety hazard but you know we just need it to open up a bit more and then my gorgeous bin which every time I take an Instagram photo of the TV it always gets in the bottom of it and it actually drives me insane yeah pretty much everything came with the flat the kettle the toaster these are actually mine this is an active fryer which if you don't have an active fryer oh my god you need to get an active fryer they are so versatile and they are so help helpful and handy to have in the kitchen you can literally cook anything in them the top is actually touch screen and there's already like manual settings that you can use so you can uh, bake cakes in it you can cook meat in it you can I love to do active fryer chips which are just wow just amazing but yeah so that's pretty much all for the kitchen and then up there we've got like cooking books and extra plates and bowls and things like that because obviously when me and Ellie moved in we had two of everything so a lot of our stuff is stored up there and then this is the living room well I say living room this is kind of like where we sit during the evenings I've literally just thrown my bag down so normally that wouldn't be there so the sofa came with the flat which I mean if it was up to me and Ellie we would not have a leather sofa we would have a really really nice corner fabric sofa because I mean it's not very comfortable hence why we've we've just had to cover it in throws and nice pillows and then if you do follow me on Instagram now you will have seen this set up so many times I literally use this as a picture opportunity all the time so the table is from b and I think it was £13 it was so so cheap and then these are the two coasters that we've got up on the island and then we've got a room diffuser which was from Matalan which is fresh cotton but it's empty so we do need to get another one and then this candle I mean if you watch my Instagram stories you'll know I'm a candle ho I literally love candles so so much and this one's from Aldi and it smells unreal I got my mum onto it and my mum now buys them every time she goes into Aldi so yeah I highly recommend that again that one's burnt out so we need to get another one and then we've got a pillar candle for our pillar we are looking for a slightly bigger one because 
she's a little lonely down there on her own. Um, but we've also got a pillar candle there as well. And then my lovely little dog doorstop, if it wants to focus. Oh my God, look at it, it's so cute. Me and my mum have got matching ones. Mum's got a chocolate brown one and I've got a yellow one. Um, but because the doors in our flat are fire exit doors, um, she doesn't hold the door. So that's our little pet. And then this mirror, um, it's a floor length mirror and it was bought from Argos and I think it was 80 or 90 pounds, I'm not 100% sure, but it's literally the best investment we've had in the flat. We could not imagine not having it there and having a mirror in a smaller space actually opens up the room a lot more and because of that mirror it does look a lot bigger in here. What really sold us this flat was not only the lovely kitchen like I, i'm obsessed with the kitchen but the fact that we got a balcony as well just literally makes living in a flat so much more less restrictive if that makes sense please ignore the lighters and crack on there they're, they're my flatmates they are not mine so the balcony was something that we really really enjoyed and really liked and it was one of the main reasons why we actually wanted to move in here um my landlord is actually in his office so i'm not gonna go out on the balcony because he's gonna think all sorts of crazy stuff but yeah it comes out really really far it's not a small balcony we can get quite a lot of people on there but yeah so it's quite small like size wise there's not that many floors there's only three out of two floors but yeah no it's really really good so that's actually going to conclude today's video i know it was a really really short video but i wanted to showcase off the flat like me and Ellie are literally so so pleased with the flat it's probably one of the best places with well it is the best place we've ever lived like student accommodation wise um but yeah I just wanted to show it off and give it a moment because I've, met, I've shown it in videos before but not to the extent where you can see everything um but yeah so I hope you enjoyed today's video I hope I've given you some house inspo. I mean, there's not really much that we can do in student accommodation. If you liked today's video, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next one.